Uh, well, first off, um, like I mentioned earlier, uh, Corey Hicks is kind of a newcomer. Um, that is uh, the person that um, is really the head of the label, um, Longevity Music. Corey is out of uh, New Orleans. He's, um, I mean, he really has a hardcore background, man. He, he was into uh, a lot of stuff that I never got into, um, but he was like a street dude. And, um, but he came to the Lord, you know, um, through a, a mutual friend in New Orleans, um, when I was going to Bible college, um, God called him, changed him, delivered him from heroin, you name it, man, just wow. out there wilding. And um, so we, we, we got it in immediately. You know, we started getting together, doing music when I was living in New Orleans and um, just saw him grow and develop. Um, but Corey is also now a pastor. He's uh, planning a church in the city of New Orleans. Um, he's been doing music, uh, working with all kinds of guys, man, like DJ Essence and Lamp Mode. Young Joshua, R. Swift. I mean, he's really, um, he's really making a name for himself. He's making a good name, too. Um, so you can read about him on holyculture.net, um, all these other places. And so he is, like I said, he's a friend first. Um, but I see his passion in his heart because what he wants to do, uh, and this is why I decided to work with him, is he wants to help artists um, get to where they need to be, um, give them a platform. But he wants to also provide accountability uh, as well as um, some direction and some collaborative work um, to really bring bring us together. And so knowing Corey, knowing what he wanted to do, I felt the same way because I wanted to like develop artists, and I'm, I'm a little bit more established myself. So really when you think about what we're doing, uh, I signed with Longevity Music, uh, which is Corey Hicks, and um, the object is to help artists develop and you know do this for the long haul. Um, because really we're called to make disciples. So we're called to show, you know, show newcomers how to do this, but really we're showing them how to live, you know, for Christ and pass that on. And so that's really the idea the, behind legacy and longevity. Uh, it's a partnership. Uh, I'm helping Corey as much as Corey is helping me, um, to help mentor artists that he brings on the team, uh, to help them with production, uh, give guidance, work together and, and do this as a team effort. And that's really why I'm doing it. And that's awesome. It sounds like we're going to have to have Corey on as well. Yeah, uh, no doubt. Man. Yeah. You better get him on. You'll love Corey, bro. He's yeah, hilarious. Yeah, you'll have to connect me to him, um, uh, being okay. that uh, you, you know him. But uh, definitely would love to have him on. Sounds like a great guy. And uh, that's what it's all about, as, as you know. Um, and maybe we can get a little bit into it. Um, even in the Christian music scene, it's hard to find sometimes some uh, good guys in there. Um, so when you come across someone like uh, what you're describing there, um, definitely uh, is a good one. Hey, now tell us uh, your your background really started off as an MC or someone who you know developed guys and, and collaborated with guys. Tell us how much uh, you know in the future we can kind of see you know your hands in the mix of others coming up in, in the ranks. Um. Well, I mean, if you know anything about uh, my history or what I did in the past, um, I did start as a DJ, worked in radio, then started DJing, um, then just sort of started playing with production. I really kind of fell into it and found that I had a sort of a natural knack. Um, and then when I came to Crossover Church um, and started working with Urban D and Flavor Alliance and all that, you know, we're going years back now, one of the things that they never had was an in-house producer. And one, you know, and what my passion was was to do production. So the Lord definitely brought us together to do that, and it gave me as much opportunity as it did them um, to to develop. So it gave me a chance to develop my skills, um, and then while I was there, I would in turn show others how to how to do that um, as I develop my craft, kind of share that. Uh, really, in the future, what I really feel that I'll be gravitating towards is that that same thing. Um, you know, obviously I, I, I provide services for recording and production. You know, I see that on a business end. You know, that's something that we do. It helps supplement our income as artists and whatnot. I've always struggled with that. Uh, I had a studio, you know, and I was doing it full time and it was cool, you know. And, but, but as people have become more do-it-yourselfers, which is great, um, that sort of business has sort of diminished for a lot of producers and artists. Um, so I look for a way to really um, be true to who I was uh, and, I'm, and looking for a way to really continue to develop artists. And so what I'm, what I'm going to be doing in the future, 
um, is really more discipleship <clears throat> and, and offering more um, clinics, internships, things of that nature where uh, even video tutorials uh, where I'm really kind of helping to uh, give uh, new artists and producers um, some resources to kind of work with. Um, so I'll be partnering with some different people to do that. Awesome. If you're listening in now or watching this, uh, we're with Legacy. New album coming out March 15th. You don't want to miss this. Everything he's done so far has been good. Don't expect anything less. Hey, when we come back, I'm going to ask Legacy what he thinks about hip-hop in general uh, and then also about when he's going to hit the camp, or I'm going to say campaign trail, concert trail, and uh, how you can get a hold of him there if you want to book him at your church or organization. So we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back for our sponsors. I appreciate you guys watching and the calling. All right, you're back here with the calling, and I have Legacy. He has got a great new album coming out called Green Legs and Spam, March 15th. You don't want to miss it. You can go to his website, greenlegsandspam.net, uh, or leg, Legacy813, is it? Uh, Legacy813.com, that's correct. Com, Amazon.com, iTunes, wherever uh, you prefer. Um, I'm sure he prefers his site. Um, but uh, Legacy, I wanted to ask you about... Um, the hip hop scene in general, uh, I know you guys are really hacking away at uh, you know the bad of, of that scene and and what's going on there. There's a there's a lot of great creativity there, talent there, as you know. Um, what you guys' approach, you know, being that you're in that circle, um, to really sh hammer away and minister and try to get in there without uh, you know corrupting what's already happening with you guys as far as you know the good and what what, what progress you're making. Tell us a little bit about that. <clears throat> 